Today I'm going to be shooting some federal power shock ammunition at ballistic gel at 100 yards. I'm going to be comparing the 300 blackout to the 3030, and they are both 150 grain bullets. I've heard people make a comparison of the 300 blackout to the 3030, and I'm wanting to test it in the same block of ballistic gel. 300 blackout says it has 946 foot pounds of energy at 100 yards. 3030 has 1,358 foot pounds of energy at 100 yards. I'm not sure what the test barrel was for those. These are the guns I'm going to be shooting. The 300 blackout, I believe that's a 16 inch barrel. The 3030, I believe, has a 20 inch barrel. So the 3030 does have a longer barrel. And my block of ballistic gel is up against that bale of hay. I'm hoping I can hit it with that 3030. That is a 20 inch block of ballistic gel. 30-30 shot all the way through it. And the bullet got caught in one of those water jugs. went back and watched the video of the 300 blackout hitting the block and it looked like to me that that bullet went through and it bounced off the water bottle and you could see the bullet fly way up in the air and then it kind of flew down and hit the ground towards the camera and i searched and searched the ground for that bullet and i did finally find it and there are the bullets. The one on the left here is 300 blackout. The one on the right is the 3030. And you can see that the 3030 just had more uniform expansion. You can see it pancaked out a little bit flatter there. But that 300 blackout, it looks pretty gnarly too. So that wound tracked right there on top, that's the 300 blackout. It actually, to me, looks more impressive than the 3030. 3030's on bottom there. Now, the 3030 is, was a flat nose bullet. It looks like maybe it started to expand just a little bit sooner. Not a whole lot. And then the widest part of that wound channel, they do look pretty similar. But the 300 blackout, it just stays thicker through the block. Now I have seen, I know I shot this block with nine millimeter and that bullet actually turned and tumbled in there. So I wonder if that could be the case that the bullet tumbled in there. And the way that this pedal is bent backwards, it would make you think that it might've tumbled too, that it might've turned around and then been going this direction out. At a hundred yards, I like the expansion of the 3030 a little bit better. However, I would say the wound track of the 300 blackout looks a little bit better. I think that bullet tumbled inside of there. Now I'm curious to see what it would look like at 30 yards. Shooting that 3030 about 30 yards as I expected, it shot all the way through that block. I had actually, I was hitting high and I busted that water jar. So I just stacked up the wood behind the block and I was able to catch that bullet right down here. And again, that does not look bad. Here's what the wound track looks like. It's on top. It did lose, you can see it shed a little bit of 
fragments there. So it did lose a little bit of mass, but it doesn't look like it lost a whole lot. So these two tracks right here are the 3030 and the 300 blackout. It's kind of surprising to me that that 300 blackout doesn't look like it expanded as much at 30 yards. It appears to me that the 300 blackout expanded more at 100 yards than it did at 30 yards. So that's kind of surprising. 3030 wound track at 30 yards looks pretty decent. Looks like the 300 blackout got plenty of penetration there. And it hit that two by four with pretty good force right there. I'm gonna dig around and see if that bullet's in there or if it bounced out. So I did find that 300 blackout bullet that I fired at 30 yards on the ground. That's that one right there. And you can see there is a fair amount of expansion there. We got the 30-30 from 30 yards. 30-30 from 100 yards, 300 blackout, 30 yards, 300 blackout at 100 yards. There are the bullets laid over on their sides. 30-30 at 30 yards is the most impressive. Looking at this block of ballistic gel and comparing the two tracks from the 300 blackout, that tracked right through there was the one at 30 yards. And I was just wondering why that one seems to be quite a bit thinner. And I do believe that one fired at 100 yards must have tumbled in there. So that, you know, with it tumbling, it made that wound track wider through there. Now at 30 yards, I do believe the 30-30 in my mind looks quite a bit better. You can just see how it's just wider. The, one, the 300 blackout, it seems a little thin at 30 yards.